How do I know if my system needs to be serviced? I'm going to pass these things around. There is test strips that are out there. And these two bottles here, I'll pass them around. There's a test strip. The test strip has three little squares on it. You take it, you dip it into the cooling system, and you pull it out, kind of shake it a little bit, and you wait about a minute. And then you take it and you match it up to the container that it's on. This little test strip tells me three things. First thing it tells me is my nitrite level. And nitrites is actually the additive package that's protecting me from rust and uh, silicon dry out, drop out, and that kind of stuff. And what I do is I'll stick it on here. It goes this direction. And if it's yellow, I have no additive package left. And I either need to replace the antifreeze with new antifreeze or I need to add additives to it. The second one is how is your freezing point. How cold will this antifreeze go before it freezes? And the third one is your acid level or your pH. And if your pH gets too acidic, it's going to actually attack the metal in your engine. And if it's too much of a base, that's because you've got too much lime and calcium in there. And in both cases, you need to replace that antifreeze and get it out of there. So this is going to tell me whether my antifreeze can go more than two seasons or if it only goes one season. If it is bad, you guys can look at that. If it is bad, you have a choice, and you can even add it or not. This here is just a jug of cooling system treatment, and it's basically an additive package that you're putting back in there. If you read the literature that's out there that these people are promoting, and that sheet that I have on there, what they're saying is if I have to keep adding it, the downtime of testing it and then adding and all that, that's all service money. And if you don't have a lot of time for servicing, that's money you're losing. Plus, I have to buy this and keep track of it. This stuff has a shelf life. So if in a couple of years I don't use it, I need to throw it away and buy some more. And so you've got to be careful about it. Some systems, the bigger they get, will actually have a filter on them. And it's not... Most systems don't, but some of the bigger diesel systems will have it. And this is a oil or a filter out of the cooling system. And this one came out of my truck that I have at home. It lasted one year. And I'll pass it around. You can see how much rust this filter has filtered out of my system. The other thing that this thing had originally when it was new, when I pass this one around, if you shake it, You'll hear something rattling around in here. If you actually look between the holes here, you'll see a looks like a white bar in there. What that white bar is, is a package of additives. And you're supposed to change the coolant filter every year. Every year you take this off, any rust that's been filtered out is gone, and it adds a new bar of additives to your system. That one actually was a year and a half. And so it, it had used the entire bar up, and additive package was gone, and the rust was starting to really build up in that system. And so if you have a, a coolant filter, it only lasts one year because of the additive package that's in there, and it's supposed to add it back into your system. So if you have one of those, it's going to start to change to flush your system then? Okay. If your system is as bad as mine was, you should flush the system and start all over. Because it's a supplemental system, it's not supposed to add everything back. And my system was completely depleted. And so that's why it was so rusty and all the additives were gone. I needed to flush it all, start all over, and then it will maintain my additive package. Very few cars will have a coolant filter. Usually it's on a diesel, and it's kind of more expensive diesels. Some of your bigger turf mowers, your, your wide area mowers, you'll start seeing cooling filters on them. Uh, if, it, if you have a system or an engine that tends to cavitate really bad, where additive package is important, then you might see it.